Hello there again, YouTube. It is once again I, a gothic host with the most Knox Burzum, back to bringing more blasphemous brews. Today is an ode to coffee. In fact, my favorite fucking coffee in the whole goddamn world, so far as I've found so far. It is Cameron's Chocolate Caramel Brownie. This stuff is amazing. <sighs> right to the brain pan. It smells like you're stuffing your face into this delicious, delectable, actual goddamn chocolate brownie cake. That's what it smells like in this bag, the chocolate brownie cake. Look at there. Look at there. I swear to God, that's cake. That is cake. So, how the fuck do you enjoy this? Oh, and we also have another delectable treat today. We found gluten-free cookies. That's right. Partake double chocolate brownie! Yes! By the way, that's like life size for these things. They are fucking adorable. They are little. Look at them. Look at them. They're so little. Top nine allergens free, vegan, and gluten free. Soft cookies. And by the way, when they say soft, they really do mean legitimately soft. These things taste fucking amazing. And they're so, I'll, I'll show you when we get to it, but the texture is just honestly incredible. So. You take your average coffee here, and if Knox Burson's going to make fucking coffee, I'm going to make double strength coffee. Why? Because the rum is all gone. All I got left is coffee, man. It is a quickly sinking ship. We will patch it with what we can. No, we can patch it with this caffeine. Oh, so uh, hashtag Mothman, hashtag filming. Uh, anyway... Hashtag Patreon, hashtag not Dosses and Zoltners. Thank you so much for uh, helping us out, sponsoring today. And yes, that is a hint that I am uh, filming Mothman today, actually, for uh, Enter the Void. We're going to be coming back with a longer format video for the first time in almost a year. I finally just took time off of work, and we're doing it today. Uh, so I'm very excited to announce that. Uh, these partake cookies are nut-free, egg-free, wheat-free, dairy-free, soy-free, fish-free, shellfish-free, mustard-free, sesame-free, and sulfite-free. Now, you may be asking yourself how the hell would some of that stuff get into these things, and it is because in the manufacturing process, in a lot of these plants, you would be amazed what is right next to one another. As long as there is some sort of, like, 10-foot-wide, uh, like, um exclusionary area like even just a walkway we can make a lot of things right next to each other bro stuff we just don't notice because as humans our sense of taste and smell isn't that great so people don't usually notice but things like fish and tree nuts are usually treated like pretty close to one another it happens so knowing that this is a dedicated line is really important because there's a lot of people out there with a ton of allergens and a ton of food sensitivities and i just wanted to be a guiding light in this place, like our Lord Lucifer Morningstar would want me to. You know, shine the light out there and let people know. We believe in the ability to partake in all of life's joys, big and small. Whether it's chasing your dreams or taking a break to have a bite, we are all about creating equal access to all life has to offer. That's the reason we put wholesome ingredients in and leave certain ingredients out, so more people can experience the joy of great food. And that big mission goes beyond this box. We know that there's nothing sweeter than radical inclusivity which is why we're building a company and a community that uh, lifts it as it climbs and creating a variety of foods so good they have the power to bring people together we're glad you're here uh, Denise Woodard founder and CEO a portion of all of our profits goes to charities that support the 12 million food insecure children throughout the United States of America be friendly to the planet 100% fucking recyclable so if you want to tell me that you can't have a food company that produces uh, eco-friendly waste 100% of the time, fuck you. Yes, you can. You just have to give a shit. Now, usually I'd be making a double batch of this, but um, to be completely honest, this is birthday coffee, and I'm almost out of it because I drink a double cup at least every day. So, this is probably the second best tasting creamer I have found for people who are lactose intolerant. Uh, as long as you don't have an oat issue, Planet Oat Oat Milk Creamer Vanilla. This stuff tastes fucking incredible. This 
This stuff is honestly perfect. This stuff is a 10 out of 10. It is about five and a half dollars at Woodman's. 100% worth it. And it is dairy free, peanut free, gluten free, and soy free. It tastes like silky, oily nut juice from a vanilla bean. I don't know how else to describe this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, YouTube is probably going to be really pissy with me about that, but it 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 seriously does. It 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 tastes like a vanilla bean nutted in your mouth. It's great. Yeah, that's your fucking uh, see that that that's your phrase for the day: vanilla bean nutted in my mouth. Hashtag. If you got to this point of the video, comment down below. Let me know that you uh, your phrase of the day. So this stuff is great. Oh. Tastes exactly like it smells. You add in that little bit of uh, vanilla humor, and legitimately, this tastes like a frosted cake, which is probably why I love it so damn much. Now, so here is my allergen free cookie. You fuckers are getting three items in one. I'm not even making you watch three different videos. Fuck you, this is a deal. This, uh, for scale, I wear a size eight wedding ring. There we go. So about that big. Pretty decent. It's as big as a Chips Ahoy. Comes uh, in a box that contains 15 cookies. Because it's five servings per container and three cookies per serving. So, therefore. And it's only 140 calories per serving. So really great. Bottoms up. Chewy. Super soft. Listen to this. I, I don't even know if you can hear this. You can't even hear it. It's so soft. And with this coffee, the combination. Right, yes, I will have a chocolate chip uh, fudge cookie with my chocolate chip caramel brownie coffee. Thank you so much. 10 out of 10 across the board. These are fucking delicious. This is exactly what you want in a gluten-free soft cookie. This is my favorite thing that I've found so far in the gluten-free aisle. Go fucking buy these, folks. That is a direct goddamn endorsement. As far as coffees go, dude, if you want fucking decadent, this is it. This is my 10 out of 10 coffee. This is the coffee that if I have to have the last cup of coffee on earth I'm ever going to fucking have, this is going to be it with a little shot of peppermint schnapps inside. So... From Knox. Oh, and uh, again, the uh, oat creamer. So, peace, love, heavy fucking metal. These items are all 10 out of 10 across the board because they do exactly what they're supposed to do. They taste exactly how they're supposed to taste. And the, the price points on them are fucking phenomenal. Uh, this is 32 ounces for, I think it's like six and a half, seven bucks, which is really not bad at all. So it's two pounds for like seven dollars. That's three and a half bucks a pound. That's a steal for a premium brand of coffee. This was five and a half dollars, uh, five and a half to six dollars, I believe. And the plant oat cream, like I said, is like a f between f five and seven bucks for a liter. So that is it, folks. I will be filming for us today. Peace, love, again, heavy fucking metal. Uh, Find me on Patreon, towards the corner to your witch, if you're feeling frisky and want me to keep on making good content for the show. You all have a pleasant day. Goodbye!